Hi everyone, this is your instructor Asma Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in today's lecture I am going to apply the diode models for solving the different types of the circuitry means whenever a diode is present in a circuitry we want and we want to analyze the voltages and current through this particular circuitry then we can consider diode as the ideal diode model or a practical diode model or finally the complete diode model you can uh, watch what are these models in my previous lectures there fine for the time being we are going to analyze these three different circuits and we will see how the diode will be behaving here so the first question is you have been asked uh, which of these diodes in this figure is forward biased or the reverse biased so the simple condition is for the forward biasing of the diode the anode should be anode should be more positive with respect to cathode whenever you will have such condition then that particular diode will be forward biased now looking at the first circuitry you can clearly see that here the plus 5 volt battery is connected at the anode terminal so anode terminal is at plus 5 volts while the cathode terminal is connected with the positive terminal of plus 8 volt battery so cathode is held at more positive potential as compared to anode so that's why in this circuitry diode is reverse biased because if you look the, at the potential from anode to cathode terminal so anode minus cathode potential anode volt is 5 while cathode voltages are 8 volt so which is equal to minus 3 volt these are the negative voltages that are present across the terminal of this diode that's why it is reverse bias diode fine similarly let's go to the next circuitry here you can see the anode terminal i'll represent anode terminal now with the a while cathode will be represented with the k fine so the voltages at the anode terminal is equal to zero, uh, 0 volt since it is grounded so anode minus cathode voltage is 0 minus the voltages at the cathode terminal what's the value of the voltages at the cathode terminal you can clearly see here the cathode terminal is connected with the negative terminal of minus 100 volt so the voltages at the cathode is equal to minus 100 when you will find the difference from anode to cathode terminal you can see 0 plus 100 volts which is equal to 100 volt which is a positive number if the potential from a node to cathode is positive then it is forward biased so in this case this diode is actually forward biased fine now let's have a look at the second circuitry where you can see multiple resistors are present now in that case only one voltage source is present and since the positive current will be flowing in this circuitry which can be represented as the i total current now this current after arriving at this particular junction that i am highlighting will find its two paths one through this diode and the other one through this resistor since the positive current is entering at the anode terminal while the cathode is held clearly at the zero potential that's why anode to cathode potential will be 
positive we will see later on how it is how much it is fine so here the uh, diode is again forward biased all right so this was the first question that we were supposed to discuss now the second part is determine the voltage across each diode assuming the practical model now you have to find the total amount of the voltages across each diode considering the diode as a practical diode model now what happens when we consider the diode as a practical diode model we consider the forward voltage drop is equal to 0.7 volt in case of the silicon while forward voltage drop of the diode will be equal to 0.3 volt in case of germanium fine right now or for the time being we will consider this is a silicon diode that's why the whenever it will be conducting certain voltages and it will be forward bias the voltage across its terminal will be equal to 0.7 volts and in the cases where the diode is reverse biased we are then reverse voltages will be equal to the bias voltages which means how much voltages are present from anode to cathode fine so by looking at the first circuitry you can see that anode to cathode voltages were equal to minus 3 volt which is actually the biasing voltages or the biasing potential that is present across its terminal so v bias is equal to minus 3 volt which is also equal to the reverse voltages since it is the reverse biased diode and as it is not conducting so we will not find vf voltages okay now let's move to the next circuitry by looking at this circuitry since this diode is forward biased that's why anode to cathode voltages came out to be 100 volt but we will consider these voltages or we will say vf up is uh, equal to or voltages across the diode is actually equal to v bias in the cases when it is reverse biased while whenever the diode is forward biased we simply say that the forward voltage drop is equal to 0.7 volt and as this diode is forward biased it is in the conduction mode that's why forward voltage across this diode is equal to 0.7 volt and we will not determine v reverse since it is not reverse biased all right now moving to the next circuit again you can see that this diode is forward biased that's why the voltage across this diode or the forward voltage drop of this diode is equal to 0.7 volt all right now let's consider the ideal diode model now and you have been asked to determine the voltages across each diode okay again if you look at this circuitry this was the reverse bias diode and now we have assumed the ideal diode model which says that whenever the diode is forward biased assume that vf is equal to or the forward voltage will be equal to 0 volt if in case of the ideal diode model while in case of uh, the reverse bias case and considering the ideal diode model vr is again equal to v bias now considering the first circuit again as it is reverse biased so the voltage across in diode in circuitry uh, as the ideal diode model is equal to minus 3 volt as it is fine so this will be the same value while in this circuitry as we have assumed the ideal diode model so vf is equal to 0 volt now in case of 
ideal while in case of the practical we assume certain voltage drop across it or the potential barrier fine and again in this case vf is equal to 0 volt in case of the ideal diode model okay the last part is you have to determine the voltages across each diode now assuming the complete diode model okay so when you will be uh, considering the diode as a complete diode model Uh, in case of the forward bias mode or in case of the forward bias condition V F is considered dynamic resistance of the diode is considered okay these two parameters are considered why in case of the reverse bias diode what we do we consider uh, the reverse voltages v r which is equal to negative of uh, which is equal to v biased voltages as well as some the as well as some reverse resistance okay which is denoted by small r and then r now in this case in this particular problem you are given the dynamic resistance which is equal to 10 ohm while the reverse resistance which is quite high and it is equal to 1000 mega ohms fine and what you are supposed to do you have to determine the voltages across each diode now so going back to the same circuitry i'll consider the first circuitry and now first i will draw the equivalent circuit as this diode is reverse biased and in case of the complete diode model what we do we replace the diode with the open switch so this diode will be treated as an open switch here you are again having a voltage source fine and then the reverse resistor is connected in parallel which is equal to 1000 mega ohms and here you will have plus minus 5 volt 10 ohms and this is equal to plus minus 8 volts all right now the first step is to determine the reverse voltages which is equal to v bias and that was equal to minus 3 volt in this case okay And usually in case of the reverse biasing mode, we ignore the reverse resistance, fine. So this is actually equal to the reverse voltages uh, of the diode. Now looking at the second circuitry where the diode was forward biased and we were asked to determine the voltages across its terminal. But this time we will consider the complete diode model. So first of all, I will draw the equivalent circuit of this diode and here the dynamic resistance is connected as the as in series with the diode and again you can see now the diode will be replaced with the 0 0.7 volts battery and also you must remember that the cathode terminal is represented as the negative terminal of the battery while anode is represented as the positive terminal of the battery so this is the equivalent of the diode that i will replace in this circuitry and i can mention it as 0 0.7 volts fine here we had the negative terminal of the battery and then positive and now you can draw the resistor as well while this terminal was grounded it is equal to 560 ohms it is equal to minus plus 100 volt now let's just suppose that if is flowing in this circuitry okay so when you will apply the kvl what you will get 
zero point seven volts as it is the positive terminal so current is entering okay then plus i f r d then minus hundred volts and then plus forward current through the five sixty ohms and it should be equal to zero let's just simplify this expression so you will see it is equal to 100 volts minus 0.7 volts divided by the total resistance of the circuitry which is equal to 560 plus 10 ohms and when you will simplify it you will you are going to get 99.3 divided by 570 ohms and when you will sim uh, solve it and uh, you are going to get the answer which is equal to 174 milliamperes 174.21 milliamperes so this is the forward current through the diode once you have determined the value of this forward current you know that this was the diode equivalent point okay and as we have been asked to determine the voltage across this diode that's why if you connect the voltmeter across this point this will give us the vf voltages which is equal to now vf 0.7 volts plus if into rd which is the dynamic resistance so 0.7 volts plus if we have determined it is uh, and it is equal to 174.21 milliamperes into 10 ohms so when you will simplify it you will uh, you are going to get this is equal to 2.44 volts these are the voltages that are present across the diode when it is forward biased and when you have considered uh, the complete model of it okay now let's uh, just solve the last circuitry uh, which is a little bit complex and i'll solve it in the next part of the video thank you for watching